prove that each trigonometric statement is an identity. State the non-permissible values of x so the identity is true. In part a, prove that sine x over cos x plus cos x over 1 plus sine x equals secant x. Rewrite the statement and draw a line. Get a common denominator. Simplify. Add the fractions. Use the identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. Replace sine squared x plus cos squared x with 1. Rearrange the denominator so it matches the numerator. Cancel to get 1 over cos x. One over cos x equals secant x. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof. Non-permissible values occur when cos x equals 0 and 1 plus sine x equals 0. Cos x equals 0 when x equals pi over 2 plus n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. One plus sine x equals zero when x equals three pi over two plus n times two pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. We don't require the second solution set since it duplicates non-permissible values already in the first set. Graph the left side, y1 equals sine x over cos x plus cos x over one plus sine x. Graph the right side, y2 equals secant x. The graphs of the left side and right side are identical. In conclusion, sine x over cosine x plus cosine x over 1 plus sine x equals secant x is an identity as written since the graphs are exactly the same. However, since non-permissible values are present, it is considered good form to write the identity with the variable restrictions. In part b, prove that 1 plus tan squared x over 1 plus cotan squared x equals tan squared x. Rewrite the statement and draw a line. Use the identities 1 plus tan squared x equals secant squared x and 1 plus cotan squared x equals cosecant squared x. Replace 1 plus tan squared x with secant squared x and replace 1 plus cotan squared x with cosecant squared x. We write secant and cosecant in terms of cosine and sine. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Combine the fractions. Sine squared x over cos squared x equals tan squared x. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof. Non-permissible values exist when cos squared x equals 0 and sine squared x equals 0. Non-permissible values could also exist when 1 plus cotan squared x equals 0. Begin with cos squared x equals 0. Take the square root of both sides. This gives us cos x equals 0.
graph y equals cos x. Cos x equals 0 when x equals pi over 2 plus n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Let's move on to sine squared x equals 0. Take the square root of both sides. This gives us sine x equals 0. Graph y equals sine x. Sine x equals 0 when x equals n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. We can merge the solutions to get non-permissible values at n pi over 2, where n belongs to the set of integers. Now we'll solve 1 plus cotan squared x equals 0. Isolate cotan squared x. There is no solution. We can't take the square root of a negative number. Graph the left side, y1 equals 1 plus tan squared x over 1 plus cotan squared x. Graph the right side, y2 equals tan squared x. The graph of the left side includes the restrictions, so this is the graph we should draw. In conclusion, 1 plus tan squared x over 1 plus cotan squared x equals tan squared x is not an identity as written since the graphs are not identical. However, we can force this to be an identity by including variable restrictions. In part c, prove that cos x over 1 plus sin x plus cos x over 1 minus sin x equals 2 secant x. Rewrite the statement and draw a line. Get a common denominator. Multiply the fractions. Add the fractions. The numerator becomes 2 cos x. Rearrange the identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 to get cos squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Replace 1 minus sine squared x with cos squared x. Cancel. This becomes 2 times secant x. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof. Non-permissible values occur when 1 plus sine x equals 0 and 1 minus sine x equals 0. Begin with 1 plus sine x equals 0. This becomes sine x equals negative 1. We also have 1 minus sine x equals 0. This becomes sine x equals 1. We can merge these equations to sine x equals positive or negative 1. Draw the graph. Sine x equals positive or negative 1 at pi over 2 plus n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Graph the left side, y1 equals cos x over 1 plus sine x plus cos x over 1 minus sine x.
graph the right side, y2 equals 2 secant x. The graphs of the left side and right side are identical. In conclusion, cosine x over 1 plus sine x plus cosine x over 1 minus sine x equals 2 secant x is an identity as written since the graphs are exactly the same. However, since non-permissible values are present, it is considered good form to write the identity with the variable restrictions. In part d, prove that cos x over 1 minus sin x equals 1 plus sin x over cos x. We write this statement and draw a line. The conjugate of 1 minus sin x is 1 plus sin x. It's the same binomial with the opposite sign. We can use conjugates in trigonometric proofs to create opportunities that let us use the Pythagorean identities. Multiply the fraction on the left side by the conjugate of the denominator. Multiply the fractions. Rearrange the identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 to get cos squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Replace 1 minus sine squared x with cos squared x. Cancel. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof. Non-permissible values occur when 1 plus sine x equals 0 and 1 minus sine x equals 0. Begin with 1 plus sine x equals 0. This becomes sine x equals negative 1. We also have 1 minus sine x equals 0. This becomes sine x equals 1. We can merge these equations to sine x equals positive or negative 1. Draw the graph. Sine x equals positive or negative 1 at pi over 2 plus n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Graph the left side, y1 equals cos x over 1 minus sin x. Graph the right side, y2 equals 1 plus sin x over cos x. The graph of the right side includes all the restrictions, so this is the graph we should draw. In conclusion, Cosine x over 1 minus sine x equals 1 plus sine x over cosine x is not an identity as written since the graphs are not identical. However, we can force this to be an identity by including variable restrictions.